welcome home. Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Skyrim Script Extender or SKSE 64 for Skyrim Special Edition. So anyways, the first thing that you want to have open here for this tutorial is skse.silverlock.org. You'll also want to have your Steam opened so that you can go ahead and right click on Skyrim Special Edition, go to Properties, go to Local Files, and go to Browse Local Files, and this will bring you to where the executable files are for Skyrim Special Edition. We can go ahead and actually just close Steam for now. We don't have to worry about it. So this is where the most complicated part of downloading and installing SKSE 64 comes in. Finding out which build you need for the version of Skyrim that you're running. So just go ahead and find the current SE build, not the current build, this is for Skyrim. Find the current SE build that you need to download. For me, that's the build 2.0.4. Go ahead and just click on the 7-zip archive and this will allow us to download SKSE. So let's go ahead and choose where we want to download it. I'll actually just go ahead and save it into this folder right here and I'll just overwrite it. I already have it downloaded but I'll go ahead and just overwrite it. Once it's finished downloading, just go ahead and go to the directory that you downloaded it to, and you should be able to just double click on it, and then it should pop up something like this. Then you can go ahead and just open up the SKSC64. So you can go ahead and just copy everything except for the SRC folder and drag it directly to where the Skyrim SE executables are. And that is as easy as it gets. I personally had to overwrite it there because I already had it installed. But that is how you install SKSE 64 for Skyrim Special Edition. All you want to do now is launch the game up through the SKSE 64 loader. And once you're on the main menu, just to check if SKSE is working correctly, go ahead and open up the console using the tilde key, which is the key right below the escape key. And then you want to type in get SKSE version and hit enter. And it should pop up something along the lines of SKSE 64 version and show you the version number, the release ID, and the runtime. So that is how you download and install Skyrim Special Edition's version of SKSE 64. Hopefully this video helped some of you out. And that's literally it for this tutorial. I know it's been a quick one. Until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off. Okay.